Hello, golf friends. Gary Bates here from the Gary Bates Golf Academy. Thank you for tuning in to Tour Swing Tuesday. I'm a PGA teaching professional and certified V1 video analysis coach. So up here we have Marco Mira. If you watch the Masters on Sunday, they had a special about him for about an hour before uh, the telecast, and it was just a fabulous show. It talked about just his progress in the game, how he almost didn't think he was going to make it, really, and... Uh, just a fabulous story. So I want to show you his swing. And then I have some stories I want to share with you after uh, this video or at the end of the video and then some comments. So let's take a look at him here with a wedge. And obviously this is a huge part of the game, right? I mean, golly, this is where you score with your wedges, right? Sand wedge and pitching wedge. Very, very important. So here in the setup, ball back in the stance. I really like that. I prefer that actually for most people. Because you're trying to hit the ball in the divot. I've mentioned that so much. I would say this is one of the biggest things that I change with people who play it forward. They just don't have the leg drive to get there. I would say that, the grip, and weight shift in that order. Okay, so let's take him into motion here. Very nice one-piece takeaway, right? He loved Hogan, tried to emulate his swing, and did in many ways. So really rotary going back, right? Very still head. Here's a men in black right here. A little hard to see some of these moves, but you can see his right hip has not moved laterally at all, right? So he's kept that gap. If you looked at this again, that gap is almost the same as when he started his head perfectly still and somewhere in a three-quarter backswing here. I'm guessing this is sort of a partial wedge of some kind. I don't think it's a full shot, and I'll show you why in a second. But, you know, very rotary, right? So you turn back and you turn through. Sometimes we make the golf swing too hard. As a teacher, I struggle with that too sometimes. You can only work on one or two things at a time. And if you're going to work on anything, this is tremendous. Turn back in your backswing, turn through in your downswing. Okay, so there he is, weight inside the right foot. Very important, no sway. Okay, then what do we do? Move laterally, he sort of glides into his left side here. Always kind of a smooth swing with Mark. Right, but a very good ball striker moving into his left side, right, which is very good. Now you see that leg start to move through that line right there, but maintaining his head, right? So very, very good. Very simple motion here. Get into the hitting area, forwardly into the shaft, right? Very important. That D lost the club somewhat, and I've mentioned this before. That's how you these guys hit their, their irons so far. They really smash them, right? Okay, impact, the moment of truth, right? Good job with his left wrist being flat, right? No flip, upwards, divot, down through the ball. Oftentimes, I'll give folks this right toe up drill that I have. Um, I didn't invent it, but I use it a lot, where you put your weight on your left foot and go up on your right toe in your setup. It helps you hit down on the ball, hit the ball in the ground. In fact, when I demonstrate to my students, I often hit it better on one leg. Not sure what that says, but... Says something. Okay, so into the follow through, nice and wide, right? Right hand over left, so you can see his glove underneath there. A little bit of preference here. I kind of like this for most people that want to draw it. This is more showing you what happened before, right? So we saw impact very good, but you can see his right hand's kind of crossed over his left, um, typically with draw players, um, but a thing to look for, right? So I always want people, or oftentimes I'll have people do swings where I want them to stop here and see that their arms are out in front of them. You know, in many cases, the right hand over the left, very good position from him, and then all the way up onto his toe. So, you know, very nice motion. And by the way, not a ton of lateral motion, but with a wedge, I think this is just fine. So a couple stories I have for you. One came out of that uh, show with him, and he talked about just was so excited to sign with uh, the Ben Hogan company uh, when he turned pro. And so he was really struggling with his game in the beginning. He's, he called Mr. Hogan and Hogan said, well, come on down to Shady Oaks here in Fort Worth. We'll take a look at it. So O'Meara goes down there, hits some shots for him. And he turns around and he said, what do you think, Mr. Hogan? And Hogan said, that was awful, awful. And he said, you're sliding too much. You got to turn. <laughs> Mark learned that. The other real quick story, saw Tom Kite hitting these partial wedges at, in Naples one year. Phenomenal. Just hitting 20, 30, 40, 50 in a row uh, yards and being so good. So thanks for tuning in. Hey, if you're right there on YouTube, you can subscribe, hit that button, hit the bell, select all. There's a video to the left. Check that out. It can help you. Facebook, Gary Bates Golf Academy. More information. Hey, come see us at the Jersey Devil. We got our golf schools every Saturday. Of course, private instruction. Love to have you at. So thanks for being with us. We'll look forward to seeing you next time on Tour Swing Tuesday. Bye for now.